Hello, this is Dr. Gay. This is a patient who had a seizure disorder and dislocated their shoulder. And so they do not have the typical anterior inferior dislocation. It's more of just a straight inferior or posterior dislocation. And they have a significant bone injury here. They have an impacted fracture, mildly comminuted by the greater tuberosity. You can see it here. And you can see a vertical oblique fracture line. There's also another one in the coronal plane. Uh, and you can see the marrow edema here. Now, interestingly, they had the tear of the inferior joint capsule like we would expect, and it's not a tear from the humeral attachment, but the tear is from the glenoid attachment here. So this is the inferior glenoid rim, and we can see the joint capsule coming here, and this is the torn end right here. So the inferior glenohumeral ligaments and the joint capsule should attach right to here, and they're torn and pulled down. You can see contrast in the shoulder joint going beneath there and coming out over here. We can see the same thing on the axial images. Again, here's the torn end that's yanked off the inferior glenoid rim. On the axial Im images here, we can see the comminuted fracture. Here's that other fracture line, and here's the main fracture to the greater tuberosity. Now here in the front, we have a tear of the anterior joint capsule. The capsule usually should attach here in the corner, maybe a little bit further back. And this, the anterior joint capsule is torn and pulled up and ill-defined, so it's a anterior capsule periosteal stripping. It's stripped right off the anterior scapular periosteum, and this contrast is tracking back here much further than it should. And we see these two things here, and you say, what the heck are these two different things here? And so I go up to the top here and try to find the middle glenohumeral ligament. So the MGHL starts up here right here, and we can follow that down. Right here it gets flat, and it comes down, down, and then it'll blend with the subscapularis right there. It's starting to blend, blend, and there it becomes, uh, looks like it's continuous. And then we say, well, this thing is separate. So this turns out to be that torn anterior joint capsule. And it's balled up, should attach back over here, but it's balled forward. If we follow it down, 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 it's continuous with this anterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And so right here we can see this dark area should attach to the glenoid rim, but instead it's torn away. You can see a fluid undercutting it. And we can again follow this up, up, up. So this is a t part of the anterior joint capsule that is torn and retracted forward. And that's it. So thank you very much.